All right, now that we've learned a little bit about some of the dimensions we need, uh, that in our design, we can do seven inches by three by four for the overall car size. We wanna have some room for the wheels on the width there, so our, we're actually limited to be pretty narrow. Uh, if the wheels are a quarter inch each, we can have uh, a quarter inch deep each. We can have about two and a half inches wide uh, on our car body. So I'm going to say new part. I'm going to start a sketch here. And I'm going to start on, let's do the profile. So I'm going to start on the XY plane. I'm going to make a rectangle. And the longest it can be is seven inches. And the tallest it can be is four inches. But so that's the absolute biggest it can be, which is pretty big. Um, I'm going to make one that is a little, is quite a bit smaller than that. So I'm going to say uh, six inches. Tab. Let's go. Yeah, two looks good. I'll say okay. And right here, I'm going to use. create a uh, profile for the car. So I'm going to make it really simple. This can be the hood, the windshield, and then the tail right there. So this is pretty simple. Click OK. Maybe move that up a little bit. Tiny bit like that. Um, make a little space for or some holes for the wheels, for the axle. I'm sorry, the axle is one eighth of an inch, so a point one two five. <coughs> we'll do another one over here. Point two five. Like that, and that should be good. I'm going to make sure that this is. Above uh, about 0.25, quarter inch above the ground. 0.125. Oops, 0.25 is what I meant. And then I can decide how far I want this to be spaced from the front or the back. I'm going to make this one 1 1.25. I'll make this one about 1 inch, like that. So that's my finished sketch. And then I can go ahead and extrude this out to 2.5, like that. If I wanted to make it a little bit narrower, I could, but I'm thinking that's a pretty good size ratio, so I'll say OK. And then I can just, you know, I can sculpt this away and make it however I want. So I can use my fillet tool, I can use chamfer. Um, I kind of like using the fillet tool for this. Yeah, I can bring these in. That looks pretty good. Let's try 0.5. Okay. Looks good. If I wanted to do fill all on the edge here, I can do that. Not bad. Okay. And now I've got a pretty good idea of what my car is going to look like, the body anyway. And yeah, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click up here and change this to a different type of uh, texture or a color. So I'm going to do like a light red. So I make like a Lightning McQueen kind of a look. That will look good. Awesome. I'll click uh, up here. I can save this and use it for later. We can print it out. So there you go.